a lady named Anna strolls through the woods on a chilly morning. Upon her return, she reunites with her spouse, who informs her that he has been summoned to the police station. Anna suggests they accompany him, but he declines her offer. They return home six months later, where Anna resides with her family in a spacious rural estate. She is a prosperous attorney, making a decent income. Anna's daughter is unhappy about her inability to use the bathroom. Anna's clients frequently visit their residence. Peter is annoyed by Anna's habit of working from home and allowing visitors. Anna soothes her husband, promising to make her own decision about what to do after breakfast. A client visits Anna, who is representing a young woman who has filed a lawsuit against her ex-boyfriend. Anna requests the young woman to list the names of the men she had relationships with over the past year. The young woman reveals she had been with seven men. Anna believes this information is crucial for the case. The following morning, Gustav arrives at the residence. Peter informs his wife that his son will now reside with them. Anna warmly welcomes Gustav during their morning meal. Gustav observes his father giving a hug to his daughter. He feels a pang of sadness, as he hasn't spent much time with his father. The following day, Anna encounters her sister and shares all the details with her. Afterward, Anna returns to her home and enters Gustav's room. She browses through his belongings and discovers a captivating book. At that moment, Gustav walks into the room. Anna inquires about the book and playfully flirts with him. The next day, Anna overhears Peter and Gustav in a heated argument. Gustav is resistant to living with his father. In the evening, Gustav departs. Anna tells her husband that Gustav needs to adjust to their new home. He's never lived with his father before, and she believes it's important for Gustav to first forgive him for this. The following day, Anna appears in court and is defeated. She bumps into the accused in the parking lot and mocks him. Anna returns home to find the door in disrepair and the interior of her house in chaos, leading her to the conclusion that they've been targeted by thieves. She immediately contacts her spouse to inform him of the situation. A few days later, while doing laundry, Anna discovers the house keys in her pocket, leading her to believe that Gustav is the culprit. She confronts him, demanding he confess or face the consequences. Gustav admits to his actions and promises to return the stolen items. A few days after that, Gustav takes out a dictaphone to record interviews with his sisters, who he enjoys doing in the evenings. One evening, a charming young woman visits him, and they spend time together in his room. Anna overhears her sister's cries and is reminded of her own youth. She convinces her husband to join her in bed. On a scorching summer day, Anna and her daughters head to the beach with Gustav tagging along and inviting Anna to join them in swimming. They all have a great time under the sun. Anna notices that Gustav has formed a close bond with his sisters. As the evening approaches, the children retire to their rooms, but Anna and Gustav choose to stay up, enjoying a beer and conversation. Anna reminisces about her rebellious youth, and later, Gustav surprises her with a tattoo on her arm. The following day, Peter extends invitations to his friends for a gathering at his residence. However, Anna, feeling restless, switches on the music and begins to dance as the night progresses. Gustav suggests they visit a bar together where they indulge in alcohol. During this time, Anna inquires about Gustav's girlfriend, to which he admits they have recently ended their relationship. That night, Anna shares a kiss with Gustav. Upon returning home, Anna finds herself in a heated argument with her spouse over her failure to disclose her whereabouts. A few days later, Anna engages in a game of hide-and-seek with her kids, finding joy in her time with Gustav and visiting his room in the evening. Anna enjoys her time with Gustav. The following day, Anna surprises Gustav with an expensive laptop, which Peter is not pleased about. He questions Anna's motives behind such a lavish gift for his son. Anna justifies her actions by stating that Gustav needs to focus on his studies. Throughout the day, Gustav enjoys his time with his sisters and takes Anna to the bathroom during a break. Despite Peter returning home early, Anna skillfully avoids his notice. Peter remains oblivious to her actions. One day, Gustav sits down with Anna to inquire about the most joyful and sorrowful events in her life. A few days later, it's Anna's daughter's birthday, and Gustav presents them with gifts and discreetly kisses Anna. However, Anna pushes him away, 
realizing they might be caught. Anna's sister, who witnessed the moment, is not pleased. Anna leaves the house to discuss the situation with her sister. She struggles to come up with excuses, but her sister's discomfort with staying in the house is evident. Gustav becomes intoxicated and climbs a tree, which he ends up falling from, feigning a serious injury. His father is deeply concerned for his son's safety. He becomes furious upon discovering Gustav's deceit. Peter seeks Anna's counsel, unsure of how to handle his son's situation, and considering sending him to a boarding house. Anna advises Peter to think carefully before making any decisions. The following day, Anna informs Gustav that their relationship is over. He is urged to forget the past and to move forward. However, Gustav is unwilling to forget anything. He struggles to comprehend why Anna is leaving him. Gustav invites his father to a secluded house in the forest for a few days. Anna is worried that Gustav will reveal everything she has been hiding, including her fears that her life could be destroyed. She has been consumed by thoughts of the potential consequences of her actions. She approaches her sister seeking forgiveness, but her sister refuses to engage in conversation. On their way back, Anna is involved in an accident, and Gustav and Peter return home in the evening. Gustav expresses his joy at spending time with Peter for the first time, revealing how much he misses his son, who breaks down in tears during their conversation. Gustav also shares details about his relationship with Anna. Anna dismisses his story, feeling hurt by Peter's trust in his son. She throws a fit, and Peter makes amends. The following morning, Anna enters Gustav's room to listen to the audio cassette Peter gave him, encouraging him to speak the truth. Gustav confesses, but his father remains unconvinced. Gustav is puzzled by Anna's actions and why she can't simply be honest, which leads to a heated exchange, and he storms out. Peter suspects that Gustav is fabricating the story. In response, Peter exiles his son from the house. Gustav bids farewell to his sister and departs. Several weeks later, Gustav returns to Anna's office, pleading with her to reveal the truth to his father. Anna declares she won't comply with Gustav's demands, warning him of her intentions to report him to the authorities. However, Anna is skeptical of his claims, believing no one will believe him and that he will be accused of stealing from their home. Anna warns Gustav off, preventing him from entering their residence in the evening. Gustav arrives intoxicated, pleading with Anna to allow him entry, as he desires to be with his father and fears being isolated. He has spent his life living alone until he finally found a sense of belonging with a family, but Anna rejects him, forbidding his return. Over time, Anna reconciles with her sister and forgets the incident. Gustav vanishes without a trace, leaving everyone wondering where he went. On a spring day, Anna returns home after a stroll. Peter reports to the police that Gustav has died. He informs Anna of his demise, explaining that Gustav ventured into the forest during winter, attempting to reach their summer home in the forest, but succumbed to hypothermia and died under the snow. Anna realizes her role in his death, but is unable to disclose this to Peter. He is initially furious with his wife, but eventually finds peace. A few days later, Anna and Peter attend Gustav's funeral to bid him farewell. Anna is filled with regret over what happened, but chooses to keep it a secret, marking the end of the film.